Pope Francis is summoning bishops from around the world to the Vatican Sunday to begin discussing the Amazon region. We now know who will be there for this highly anticipated synod. There's a total of 185 synod fathers. Most of them are from the nine countries that include part of the Amazon rainforest. Making up the group are 28 cardinals and 29 archbishops, along with 79 bishops. All the synod fathers have the right to vote on what happens during the three weeks of meetings. You can count on Currents News for comprehensive coverage of the entire Synod. Joining us now is national correspondent for the Tablet and Crux, Christopher White. Christopher, thanks for being with us. Good to be with you, Tamara. I want to start with something that we talked about earlier in this newscast, which is the controversy around married priests ministering in the Amazon. This issue is looming large over the upcoming Synod. What are you hearing? Is there a consensus on this issue? Well, I spoke with some folks in Rome this morning who are involved in the organization of the Synod, and what they told me was, look, among the bishops coming from the Amazon region, there's a broad consensus uh, toward the proposal for married priests uh, under, under certain conditions. Now, there are other, uh, you know, Vatican cardinals and bishops participating in the Synod uh, who have voiced some skepticism, but for those from the region, they seem to be pretty open to it. Where there is sincere consensus is that there has to be some sort of solution that comes out of next you know, the month long event uh, so that, uh, you know, the folks from the Amazon region can have the sacraments more than just once a year. But this is the highly anticipated issue. Absolutely. It's the hot button issue that all eyes are going to be on. Well, now there's been some criticism on the lack of focus on Jesus in the lead up to the mm -hmm. Synod. What does that mean? Well, there's a big press conference at the Vatican today uh, in which there was sort of some questions about the document, the, the preparatory document going into this. Uh, and some folks have said, look, there's not mention of, of, of Jesus. There's a lot of talk about the environment and and ecology. Uh, and Cardinal Baldessari, who's the chief organi organizer of the Synod, said, look, these two go hand in hand. We're talking about the conditions in which, you know, people in the Amazon live. Uh, we have to care for their, you know, their entire lives. Uh, you know, we have to uh, care for their souls uh, first and foremost, but we also have to make sure they have a, a home to live in. So we can't divorce the two from the other. Now here at home, fault lines are developing. More groups are making their opinions known about this upcoming Synod. Is there trouble on the horizon? Well, I think, you know, we, we have seen some groups, particularly some sort of far-right fringe groups that have voiced concern in the past few days. Uh, most noticeably, there was a statement that went out yesterday uh, sort of uh, referring to uh, the people uh, in the Amazon region and, uh, and their deficiencies. Uh, so I think some people are, are concerned that there may be some uh, tinges of racism at play. But on the whole, most Catholics, you know, religious, priests, uh, and otherwise, are very excited about the center recognizing this area of, of the world has long needed this sort of attention, uh, and so we're going to have a busy month ahead of us. We look forward to your coverage. Absolutely. Thanks, Tamara. Christopher White, National Correspondent for the Tablet and Crux, thanks so much for being with us. Always a pleasure.